Hi everybody, welcome to Live with Chaudhry. Here at the XL, we're at the Drug Discovery 2022 pre-event event, which is the Cheers reception, um, and where everybody just networked a little bit and got to find out a bit more about the event before it kicks off officially. And I'm delighted to be joined by Catherine Ketterkwa, who is actually on the Elrig board to find out a bit more about this year's event and what people can expect to find if they attend this week. So, Catherine, first of all, it's lovely to see you. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. Very excited about the next couple of days. Well, before we talk about this event, can you give us a very quick overview of your role with Elrig? Sure. So I sit on the board and I head up the science strategy group for Elric and what we do is we're responsible for all of the content for the conferences that Elric runs throughout the year. Fantastic. So tell me more about this year's event. So I know you've got eight tracks, haven't you? So there are eight tracks, so four tracks running over each day. Um, and we have 50 science presenters, 40 technology spots, um, and we've got 184 posters and rising. So all some really exciting stuff that's happening over the next couple of days. Brilliant. Now, um, how many people have pre-registered so far? So, so far, um, and this is, you know, our biggest drug discovery event ever, we have 2,000 people that have registered. And it's really important to stress that this is an open access event. So this is Europe's largest open access event. So, you know, if people haven't um, registered yet and they want to come on down, please do. All it's going to cost you is the cost of a, a train ticket here. Fantastic. Now, you said you've got eight tracks, and I know you've got lots of other things. So what are some of the topics the tracks are covering? So tropic, uh, topics, <laughs> tracks, uh, the topics are pretty wide and diverse that we've got. So we'll have uh, a screening track. Um, we've also got some chemistry tracks as well. We've got um, innovative partnerships as a track. Uh, BPS have got a track tomorrow on COPD uh, and models and, and, and therapeutic development as part and parcel of that as well. So we've got a track with the Royal Society of Chemistry too. Um, so yeah, lots of lots of variety there, lots of interesting things to, to come and learn about. And what I noticed is that walking around the event pre-launch is that obviously as well as all those tracks, on the show floor, as well as the exhibitors, which I know you've got over 100 exhibitors, you've also got various other things for people who are working in the industry. So it's not just about technology, is it, Elric? No, it's not just about technology. It's about encouraging connections and networking as well. Um, so we've also got um, a tech theatre that uh, the Drug Discovery World is running. Uh, so for little kind of stand-up podium presentations for people to talk about their technologies there. We've got a number of events for early career professionals. Our infamous Network Like a Boss, which is really, really popular and also a panel looking at entrepreneurship um, and then there are a number of talks for the ECPs on uh, career talks you know how to write your CVs those sorts of things as well we've got SLAS have got their innovation Avenue here so with some companies that have been selected for being particularly um, with innovative technologies to try and share those with others so yeah lots and lots going on fantastic well, look Kath thank you for giving me that quick overview what's happening in the next couple of days. So there you go, viewers. Uh, there's some noise going on behind me, so I think I'll talk faster so they don't get lots of noise destroying our interview. So thank you very much. I hope you have a fantastic next two days. It's lovely to see you. And viewers, if you are in London and you're involved in drug discovery or interested in drug discovery, then as Catherine says, it's a free to attend event. It's very easy. The link will be above the video. Just sign up or you can even do it on the day, I think, if you just yep, come you can. Uh, to the venue at the XL. It's Hall 1. You can't miss it. And you can come and see them tomorrow, the 4th or the 5th of October. So, Catherine, once again, thank you very much. And viewers, thank you for watching. And until next time, stay well and stay safe. Bye-bye.